Because remember, Fox has paid out for defamation. They've been caught lying to their audience on these very political election issues, and they have a problem with their whole Trump thing. So it was very tense when Bear was caught by the vice president for something that at best was misleadingly edited, and at worst, you could argue, was a kind of deliberate deceit to cocoon and help Donald Trump and sanitize his very alarming rhetoric calling American citizens enemies. They're the ones doing the threatening. They do phony investigations. I've been investigated more than Alphonse Capone. He was the greatest man. <laughs> no, it's true. We don't even think of it. It's called weaponization of government. It's a terrible thing. So, Brett, I, I'm sorry, and with all due respect, that clip was not what he has been saying about the enemy within that he has repeated when he's speaking about the American people. That's not what you just showed. Well, he was asked no, that no, specific... No, 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 that's not what you just showed in all no, fairness no, no, and respect to you. The... the president of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. You see that it was kind of one on two there because she's running against the former president, Donald Trump, and trying to debate those issues, but also having to deal with the Brett Baer editing apparatus. And that revealed an interesting and heartfelt, you might say, exchange. She certainly, we follow her campaign, she certainly looked uh, more intense, more vigorous, more powerfully rebutting that than she has in other calmer settings. I want to show you another moment where you have the interruption as they tried to discuss the facts on immigration. The point is that we have a broken immigration system that needs to be repaired. So your and Homeland Security Secretary said that 85% well, of I'm apprehensions... I'm not finished. I'm not finished. We have, a, we have so an immigration system... It's a rough estimate of 6 million people have been released be, into the country. And let me just finish. I'll get to the question, I promise you. I was beginning to answer. <laughs> now, if you want to be lighthearted, you could say it reminds you of any debate you've seen between friends or family, especially if it's heated politics, and one person says, I'd like to finish, and the other person says, well, I'd like to finish, and now you have two people trying to finish. The difference is, Brett Baer claims he's not there as a Trump surrogate doing a debate. He claims he has a different style and is being fair and just doing an interview. Let me finish. Might, might raise questions about the otherwise. Then, when it comes to her criticisms of Donald Trump, Baer tried a tactic of saying, well, if he has support and these things you say about him are true, then what does that say about his supporters and Americans? This is an election for president of the United States. It's not supposed to be easy. I know, but it's it not is supposed to be. It, 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 it is not supposed to be so a cakewalk for anyone. So are they misguided? The fifty percent? Are they stupid? What, oh what God, is it? I would never say that about the American people. And in fact, if you listen to Donald Trump, if you watch any of his rallies, he's the one who tends to demean and belittle and diminish the American people. He.